In today's automation with Ansible tutorial series, we will be discussing about managing variables in Ansible playbook. So before starting with that, let me welcome you to my YouTube channel, Twitch Tech Institute. And uh, if you have not subscribed to it yet, please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon and select all the notifications so that you get notification about all upcoming videos. So let's start with the tutorial module. So first you will see how you can give a name for your variable. So there you can see this table. So left side you have the invalid variable names whereas right side you have the valid variable names. Now in suppose you may want to give web server. So the actual proper name will be web underscore server or web server without any space similarly remote dot file that is not a valid name you have to give remote underscore file then first file that cannot be the name it will be like either file underscore one or file one or you put a spelling first underscore file similarly remote server dollar one you cannot do like that you have to give remote underscore server underscore one or remote underscore server one so from seeing this what you can understand the variable names can be consist of strings and numbers but it should always start with a letter it should not start with any number so that's why if you see first file that is not a valid naming convention and also for the special characters only underscore is allowed you cannot use hyphen dot comma whatever you cannot use those uh, special characters for the variable names now moving ahead how you will define a variable so there are a couple of methods for defining a variable in ansible one is like you define it in global scope so global scope is nothing but where you define your variable on the command line suppose you are running a ansible playbook using ansible hyphen playbook you define the variable in that command itself or suppose you are just running an ad hoc command ansible so you define the variable in there or you define a variable in ansible configuration file so this is the global scope now second one is the play scope so where you define your variables inside the playbook or in any task so this is more convenient way to define a variable and this is the commonly used method now third one is the host scope so instead of setting up your variables in the global scope or command line or in your playbook you can even define your variables inside your inventory file you can either set the variable for a host or you can set it up for a global sorry in your uh, group of host so either of that you can define in your inventory and so also you can get it from fact gathering and registered task now suppose you have a same variable uh, defined in multiple place so this will be the order so inventory variable is the lowest priority and whatever you are setting up in your global scope like in command line or in your ansible configuration that will have the highest priority so if you have a variable defined in your inventory variable and in your uh, playbook ansible will take the one you define in playbook not the one you define in inventory and keep in mind defining in inventory is a old method and this is nowadays obsolete so better try to avoid defining in inventory now moving ahead now how you will put the variables in playbook how to define them so defining variables in playbook either you can do like a uh, using vars block at the beginning of a playbook so it will be looking like this after your host uh, parameter you define vars colon and then you put your variable and their value so keep in mind variable and their values are uh, defined using colon not equals to so it's like user that is a variable and for that value is joe whereas uid is a variable for that value is 5000 now think about you have many variables so defining like this inside your playbook it makes the playbook goes bigger so instead of that what you can do you can have a separate file containing all the variables so that you can define with 
vars underscore files directory so it will be similarly like uh, vars but it is like host after that you use vars underscore files and then you define your a variable file so you create a folder called words and inside that you put various uh, yml files where you define your uh, variables and the content of that variable file should be looking like this where you put like user colon what is the value of user uid colon what is the value of uid now how you can use this variable you have defined how to call the value of the variable so for doing that you use double curly braces so like suppose you want to use a user variable you put double curly braces user then closing double curly braces so that ansible can understand this is the variable and it need to use the value of that variable and keep in mind one more thing if you are starting your statement with a variable so you should quote your double curly braces if you don't quote them it will not work so like this now suppose you are defining your user in your user module where you are giving name so you can see it is starting with a variable only so you put it under double quote else ansible will complain and it will fail now how you can define a variable in your host and group variables or in your inventory file so inventory file you can either define it in the host level where you select each host and for that host, host particular host you define the variable like this example where you have two hosts db1 and db2 and for them you are defining a variable like db underscore software whereas in first db1 it is mariadb and second db2 it is oracle so like this you can define your host variable inside your inventory file now you want to define some variables for entire host group so in that case you can use group variables and you need to define it like this so suppose you have a group called production where you have server a and server b and then you add one more option like production colon var so this means you are defining variables for production group where you are setting up two uh, variables location equals to india and data center equals to bangalore so keep in mind when you are defining variables in your inventory file you need to use equals to sign not the colon like how you have seen we are defining in the playbook so keep in mind this difference now continuing with that you can even have a option like group first and host first directory now you may have multiple variables now defining all this multiple variables for a single host or a group is very difficult and your uh, inventory file looks clumsy and it is a uh, difficult to maintain that inventory file with all this variable information gathers there so instead of that what you can do you can create two directories and you can create like group verse and host verse so inside those variable uh, directories you define your group variables and host variables so it will be looking like this and one more thing if you want to override these variables whatever you are defining in your playbook and in your inventory file while running the ansible hyphen playbook option you use option called hyphen e and then you define like user equals to tridivesh so it will override the variables you are setting up inside your inventory files and all and it will take whatever you are supplying in the command as a variable value now this is the example how your group verse and host verse looks so you can see in my inventory file i have a group called suze and i have a in host called linux hyphen sfxo now i have defined a group variables for suze so that folder structure will be group underscore words inside that you have to create a file with the same name of your group so in my case that is a suze and then inside that you define your variables like pack underscore man that's so package manager is zipper then os underscore type is sles similarly for host variables you do uh, create on folder host underscore words and then inside that you create a file with the same name of host name you define in your inventory file so in my case it is linux hyphen sfxo then there inside that file you define your uh, variable and their values like user 
colon is tree stake then uid is like 10000 and home is home tree stake so here again if you see it is colon not equals to how you have seen in inventory file now moving ahead so there is one more concept in your ansible that calls array so array is similar like variables but where you define the values and very multiple variables in a better way so you may have a same kind of values for a variable uh, for various variables and where you go and define uh, similarly using multiple variables like you may have a list of users or like list of packages or list of services they are like similar type but for them you use end up using multiple variables like this example you can see where you have two users and for them you are defining the various variables like their first name last name address if you use variables you have to use like this user1 underscore first name first underscore name colon john then user1 underscore last underscore name like equals to jones so like that but if you want to use it in array you have to define it like this where you put first one like users colon then you put j jones colon then you put first name john last name jones address new york so like this you can define it in array now you have defined like this in array now you want to uh, call particular value like john that is like first user one uh, first name so how you can do that you have to do in either two ways one is like your uh, dot method or dot notation where you put like users that is the first thing you can see then dot j jones dot first underscore name so this will return you the value john so you have to call the array like this or you go ahead with a bracket notation so in bracket notation how you do instead of using dot you use users then square bracket quote john's then closing single quote closing square bracket again you put a square bracket and then again you put first underscore name so either of these methods are proper you can use any of them but only keep in mind one thing if you are using use only one method don't mix it up it will be difficult for you to maintain and if you ask me i'll suggest to use the second option because sometimes first option creates a problem with the python modules where if it is go and crash clash with any python module it creates a problem so second one is the much safer and proper way to call an array now moving ahead how you can register variable so till now you can see i am defining some variables hard coded into the playbook or into the inventory file or into from that uh, command line now how you can choose a value for a variable dynamically like from a command output so that you can do via register statement so register statement can get a output of a command or previously run module and that it can assign it to a variable so like you want to use a register module you can do like this example where you are like defining a task jeeper and you are doing installation of nmap package nmap package and then you are doing a register of that output install underscore result and then with the debug you are calling that variable value like install underscore result now if you see when i ran that you can see like it ran like this testing register values and here you can see install nmap whatever output it got with the debug it is showing here so i have cut that uh, output little bit but you can understand how you can register a value from a command and then put it into a variable so you can use this register statement so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching the video hope you have liked this please like the video uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and also uh, post your comment into the comment section so that you can understand about your feedback and take that and improve our next videos so bye have a good day we will see you in our next video